Governor, on uh, yeah, health care and figuring out how to mm -hmm. go forward right. with uh, implementing Obamacare, it, you know, can you kind of walk through what you're weighing when it comes to the exchanges and expanding tent care? Sure. The, the first with exchanges uh, is um, obviously we'll, we'll wait to see what happens ultimately in the election November if there's a change. Um, if uh, President Obama stays in office in the plan uh, and there's nothing that looks that could change out of a Senate vote, uh, then and we think it's going to be implemented, then our responsibility is to look at the, the very best way to do that for our citizens. So first is exchange, run it ourselves or let them run it. Uh, and there's, you know, there's obviously, there's about 10 states that have said we'll let them run it, 10 said that we want to run it, and the other 30 are like we're doing, weighing, weighing the, uh, the decision. Then on, ex on expansion, it's about stay where we are now, which the Supreme Court said you could do, or go to 135% of the poverty level. To be honest with you, there's so many decisions that haven't been answered by CMS. We, we've sent them a list, uh, the National Governors Association sent them a list, the Hospital Association has, and they haven't answered those. My sense is they're waiting until after the election to answer those questions too. Um, is that, so, oh, sorry. That's okay. I mean, so, so we really, at this point in time, we don't know enough. I, we do feel like it's our responsibility to meet with the legislators, uh, to, to let them begin to see the complexity of the decision and all the pros and cons each way, knowing what we know now, which is not as much as we need to make the decision. The sense is that I've heard from the hospitals is that if you, if this, if the president stays in office and, right, all the conditions, and yeah, right. all the conditions that if you don't expand Medicaid, they could be, I mean, they could have to shut their doors because they'll be losing so much of that Medicaid money they get for indigent, to, to make up for indigent Right, they, they get what's called a disproportionate share payment right now, uh, which is they're going to lose. And so that one of the considerations to take into account is hospitals saying, we're going to be, uh, uh, fina we're going to be uh, uh, in a financial tight position if, if that happens. We have other considerations, like I said, the state's taken on this commitment. If you did expand, the flip side is, while the percentage we pay now is low, I think there's a lot of people that say, you look at it and say, it, it can't go this way. There's no way the country can afford to expand that and keep covering it. There's going to be a, a huge discussion about in, entitlements, regardless of who wins this election, because we can't keep going the way we're doing now. And our state's smart to expand it when, when they know there's no way those payments can keep happening long term. 